Hello. Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. I am excited. We got some good news for you guys today. I was really hoping we could bounce back from the last video. And the snake gods smiled upon us and we're smiling this morning. Fantastic. Uh, no, what we got going on here, bud? Sangria laid eggs. Yeah, she did. And are you gonna help me pull those eggs from her? Yeah. Yes, you are. Sangria is one of our our only female blood python. For those of you guys, this is the first time to the channel. She laid eggs. And my motherly instincts, last night I came down here, I got the incubator turned back on because I hadn't had the incubator turned on because we haven't had any clutches recently for seasons just kind of starting up for us. Got two egg tubs ready to go. For those of you guys that haven't seen how we set them up, we got a perlite with a uh, light diffuser and a six quart Sterilite tub. And that's how we, that's how we artificially incubate our eggs, which is turning out to be a good thing this time around, especially because this is our blood pythons second time laying eggs. First time she had them all nicely wrapped in a coil. This time, as you're about to see, she, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Look at this Noah. Whoa. That's a whole bunch of eggs. Yeah, not only a whole bunch of eggs, they're like, they're all over the place. I don't know, she was like planning eventually to come in here and uh, like collect them in a more reasonable fashion, but right now they're just kind of, they are all over the place. Last time she laid them, she had them all perfectly coiled in her little coils. For whatever reason, this time around, she just uh, wasn't, I don't know, she was, she was like cruising. She couldn't like find an ideal spot, for whatever. Nothing's different this year than it was last year or the last time she laid, but this time she seemed to be having a hard time finding a spot that was okay for her, I guess, is one of my theories as to why she's got her eggs all over the place. Are we gonna start? Well, yeah, are you gonna get her off the eggs or am I? Um, I'll get, I'll try to. She's a real hissy. Ah, oh, she's heavy. Don't crush your own egg. Please don't crush your own egg. Well, that's up to you. She's good, she's good. Maybe you should? I think you got her. Well, at least I got her head out. Yeah, keep going. But the body's a whole different thing. Please make this easy on me. You got it, you got it. Sorry, but it's hard to not sniffle when I'm working okay. hard. <laughs> and that includes when I'm trying to get a snake away from her eggs. Get her out, what? You're doing good. I got you now. Ugh. Finally, I've done this much. Hey, you gonna just lift that back end up. Uh, how long are you? <laughs> She's got her tail hooked on there, buddy. You gotta, you gotta get her tail off. Just lift up. Lift up on her tail. There you go. Kind of seems like her weight has increased, but she's shrunk. The mother is down. <laughs> Give him a hand, folks. Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure she doesn't have any eggs left in there or anything. I, I'm pretty certain that she's got everything out. Just want to give a little check. Yep. Nope. That's an empty go right there. That's a lot of eggs. Good job, Mama. Even though you got them all over the place, you at least got all your eggs out. That was well done, well done. Have there you I ever go. had a snake that hasn't gotten all its eggs out? Yes. All right, mama looking good. All right, no, let's go ahead and do a count. Let's see how many, I wanna know how many eggs and how many slugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19! All right, I was hoping you wouldn't roll those at all, but it's all right, I'm gonna candle them later to make sure they're all right set up. 19. Any slugs? Nope, that's perfect. 19 good eggs, zero slugs. Freaking fantastic. Hey Noah, what's super exciting about this particular clutch of blood python eggs? That I'm gonna have one as my own? That is 100% correct. Me and Noah had a deal. This is gonna be his first snake to take care of in his own, one of these babies when they hatch. I'm hoping 100% of these eggs are gonna hatch. Based on our previous incubation techniques, I think that we should be 100% successful on that. This is, so last time she laid, she had 17 eggs and one slug. So this time, she laid 19 and zero slugs. That's progress. What do you know? I know blood python, blood python eggs. What about blood python eggs? That they are really big and they, um, they are white like most other eggs. And of course they come from blood pythons. And there, and this time there are a bunch of them. That's all I know. So blood python incubation time is roughly about the same amount as a ball python, which is around 55 days on average. So in 55 days or so, we should see some little baby blood pythons coming out of here. Last time we had a clutch of blood pythons, they were spoken for before they even came out of the egg. So if, if you're somebody that wants to get a baby blood python from us, which is something we only do with one snake a year, um, get on that list quickly, because I've got a feeling this list is gonna fill up just like that, like it did last time. All right, now the reason I didn't want Noah rolling those eggs is because after the leg, egg is laid, the embryo adheres itself to the top and that's where it wants to stay so it doesn't drown in the egg and it gets that little air pocket. And uh, blood python eggs are pretty thick, so you need a pretty bright light to shine through them. I don't think we can really see through these too well. We'll have to turn off all the lights. Okay, this one you can see a little bit more clearly, so I wanted to show it here. You guys can see that little, that little dark circle here at the top? See it moving? That little wiggle? It's just barely kind of jiggling there. I know it's hard to see, the camera's not focusing well in the dark. But it's there. Little, little jiggle. You see that embryo at the top? Very important that stays up there at the top. Oh, there's more! 19 of them. Oh my god. Awesome. All right, these last ones. We're, uh, they're all right side up. These ones she laid just like this, so I don't need to worry about candling them. Well, the loose ones I still candled, just to be sure. All right, we got these ones squishy in here. Oh, these ones are stuck to the bottom just a little bit. There we go. All right. 19 freaking fantastic, nice, good, fertile, thick, healthy looking blood python eggs. It's a fantastic day. What do you got to say about it, T? The eggs are not hatching. <laughs> yeah, the eggs. Can you takes... count them all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 14, 14, 13, 19, 16, 19, that's right! <laughs> oh, nice counting, two-year-old. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad that we finally had some, uh, some better news for you guys this year. I knew it was coming eventually. The timing couldn't have been better. Uh, yeah, just a nice little pick-me-up after the the month and year we've had so far. And yes, good, great. Noah, do you have anything you'd like to say about, I think we should learn, I think we should teach you a couple more things about blood pythons. Sure. Since you're gonna be caring for them for the first time. Sure. All right, 
Did you know blood pythons have some of the slowest metabolism of any of the pythons out there? What does that mean? It means that they break down their food very slowly and they, they do th everything slowly. Even though they incubate for about the same amount of time as ball pythons, the similarity kind of ends there. Because once they come out of the eggs, they're not going to shed for, well, the last clutch didn't start shedding for like six months, which is a long time. Ball pythons usually have their first shed within like a week or two. Can you imagine like six months? That's a lot longer to have the first shed. Also, the scientific name of a blood python is Python Brongersmai. And so these are all things that you're gonna learn and you're gonna be taking care of this snake once it hatches out on your own. I'll give you a couple pointers, but it's gonna be up to you to make sure it's clean, make sure it's fed, and all of that. You ready for it? Yeah. So it takes the longest time for them to finish swallowing their food? Well, no, they, they swallow it roughly in the same amount of time. It's just their, their body breaks it down slower and they kind of, you don't need to feed them as often because like they won't, some of them won't even have their first poop until, well, you'll see. You're gonna learn all of this firsthand because you're gonna be raising this baby blood python once it hatches and you will learn every little tiny trick there is to know about raising blood pythons. And I will teach you everything I know that I've learned from other people and then you'll, you'll know for yourself. So, cool? Yeah. Good, thanks for your help, bud, appreciate it. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for us here today. I'm gonna put these eggs into the incubator and patiently as possible await the arrival of the little baby blood pythons. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video, which could be, could be another clutch being laid. We're hoping, maybe. Fingers crossed. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Aloha. Aloha.